Alexa back with another video and today as you guys can see I'm still in Orlando Florida and I have another treat for you guys I am reviewing today a 2020 Chevrolet C8 Corvette I'm finally so excited to get my hands on one of these I've been waiting to review one um, as you guys know they came out a few years ago but it still amazes me every time I see it and uh, we have my friend this is Tony here he is the uh, proud owner of this beautiful beautiful car and he's gonna be the one uh, telling me some of the quirks and features about this kind of sounded like Doug DeMuro right now. Right? If you're watching. Daddy <laughs> yeah, Daddy Doug right now. So, but um, yeah, what, what inspired you to get the C8 compared to like, you know, some of the older Corvettes? Well, basically, um, my dad wanted a Corvette all his life and he never got a chance to get one before he passed away. And uh, But he had in his mind what he really wanted color wise and, and stuff. And, uh, you know, I, I looked at maybe buying one of those and I've always been a Corvette fan. and also just a car guy in general right and, uh to honor him i picked out all the options and everything that he wanted in that 73 that he never got mm -hmm. to get and i gave it the black roof the blue interior the blue exterior and made it exactly the way he wanted the old car but yet in the new okay did he really like blue was that his favorite color or it you was, just it okay was. there's good, a bunch good. of other things with the car too that are uh that are like little pieces of homage to him as well you okay know? when i was a kid we played a game called Radmobile and uh -huh. Sonic the Hedgehog was hanging in the mirror of this racing yeah. game and stuff. We used to go to the arcade when I was young all the time. And uh, so I named the car Sonic mainly because I got it in blue. Right. But he's hanging in the mirror. See the Sonic just here. Just like the video. <laughs> you guys can see. Yeah. There you go. I love Sonic to be honest actually. So but yeah this this looks great. Um what what have you done to it so far since you've owned it? So uh I mean we we replaced some of the, the fiberglass parts with carbon fiber, uh, some of the stuff on the interior too. Mm -hmm. um, and then we ended up doing we ended up doing the exhaust in the back with uh, with headers um, and also high flow cats. We did uh, uh, Fab Speed uh, Valtronic exhaust, okay. and also did a solar performance ninety five millimeter uh, throttle body ported intake. Nice. Um, so it's putting out about five thirty wheel right now, and zero okay. sixty is about two six. So uh, 2.6 seconds. Do they start with, is it 475? It's or? like 485 and then 485? I think, uh, okay. or no, 490. And then if you get the Z51 package, okay. which I got, okay. uh, it gives it 495. And that's, okay. But that's at the crank. So I think right now we're doing about 560 at the crank and about 530 wheel. 530 wheel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I noticed with the, uh, the mid-engine cars, they don't have much drivetrain loss because, you know, they, they don't have much power to push you know compared to pushing it all the way to the back of the car the engine's right here so. right and, the, and also the, the weight distribution I, I i could be wrong uh but i think it's like 53 to 47 percent oh to okay. back. so that's almost the perfect like for acceleration same thing with the uh like you said with the with the transmission mm -hmm. it, it it's instant power delivery it's almost like an electric you okay know, as far as like just that instant power especially now uh, would i be able to look under the under the hood yeah, is there... <laughs> the engine on this though is not like it is in the coupe where you can actually see the engine. Okay. Um, but I can absolutely pop it up. It actually is mechanized for the uh, for the convertible, so you can actually see everything, and I can stop at mid range. Carbon fiber on the spoiler as well. Here's the exhaust you mentioned. Got the carbon fiber on the outside too. Check it. So that's where the engine would normally be. We talked about doing like a like cut out to where you could still see it. Oh, got you. But mm -hmm. that's gonna come after we do the other other stuff that we've got planned over the next month. Okay, that, that was really quick. Yeah, it's actually, like 15 <laughs> seconds. Is wow. Yeah. Now, can you do this while you're moving? Up or? to 26 miles an hour, like you can. So, like, mm -hmm. there's a few times where we had it down and we were maybe going on uh, Interstate Four and it started raining and guess. just pull over into that right lane, drop it down to 26, and hit the button. You can still do it while you're going. Okay. And they. Nice. This is like a heat exchanger to, to let some of the heat of the engine out. It oh, also okay. doubles uh, as letting the pressure as you're moving. If you, if you, if when, the, when it's up like you saw uh, just a second ago, right. air passes through that little gap. So therefore it doesn't create nice. like a, a pocket. Yeah. Okay. And um, these vents right here, they're functional as well, correct? Yeah, there are five radiators up on this car. And there's these two in the back are the actual main radiators with the, uh, with the intake as well. And then the two in the front are what's considered heat exchangers. Okay. Uh, and this car is gotcha. phenomenal when it comes to like not over. Good. Some of the other Corvettes, like, you know, you asked earlier, like, did I have a particular other favorite Corvette? That was probably one of the things that are maybe played some of the older cars with uh -huh. the fact they, they could perform amazing and then right. until they couldn't because they got hot. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there anything about this that you don't like? <laughs> 
got to think came, of something. <laughs> no, when it came stock, uh, the ride height and the wheel gap was just horrendous. It, it okay. almost looked like an off-road, like a Safari Porsche mm -hmm. uh, or something like that. So uh, they, the factory, if you order the Z51, makes it pretty easy to factory lower it. So you don't have to buy coilovers. You don't have to buy other oh, things. Okay. You can just buy a couple tools, like two different size spanner wrenches that they recommend. Mm -hmm. and the dealer didn't even have them, so I bought them and gave them to them after mm -hmm. they did the work. Uh, but yeah, the ride height was terrible. The The wheels, we put uh, 20 millimeter spacers to bring the wheels out a little bit more, just mm -hmm. to give it just a more supercar look. Okay, yeah, it definitely that was, fits that it. That was my least favorite thing about the car. It has a really good weather mode for traction control, but in the rain, you want to drive it like it's a minivan, <laughs> right. not that it's like it's a high-performing car. Because I mean, even a Ferrari like 488 or something like that, you know, you can ask any any Ferrari owner, you know, they're gonna they're gonna have uh, probably drive well under the speed limit in almost every single situation. If it's really exactly. So I did notice um, that you had your uh, brake calipers painted. Uh, paint match blue yeah. um, and they only came with which three colors again they came only with uh, yellow black and uh, red okay and to me with this with this baby blue it didn't really kind of look that good it would mm -hmm. definitely be like a, a, a good contrast but just not for me and uh, I had a few friends that own uh, you know wheel and tire businesses and stuff like that and they they were able to paint it with the you know the correct code and mm -hmm. I got the code from the dealer and here we are and they use yeah. the high temp paint so that if you take it to the track it's not gonna boil the paint and, and mm -hmm. make it look awful and it's held up well it looks ha good have you taken it to the track yet we did we did a uh, Audi had uh, had done a track day at Sebring and we got invited we were the only American car there for that day it was wow. a Audi event. <laughs> We actually got some of the uh, Audi race car drivers. Now, they don't have an F1 team, but they do have, well, they're supposed to soon, but uh, some of the race car drivers uh, were sitting next to us and giving us pointers on how to mm -hmm. drive on a track. And okay. I had never done that before, so I was cautious and scared. And yeah. You also, if anybody ever does do a, a genuine track day, track insurance, absolutely must do, because you really? never know. Yeah, your regular car insurance won't cover. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. It's considered racing, and uh -huh. it's in everybody's clauses. Anyway, yeah. um, we, uh, we we took it there, and uh, since I, 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 I'm a good driver, but I'm not a race car driver, uh -huh. I think we did a lap time around 251 the first time, and then after two days of training, I got it down to 228. Nice, which is huge improvement. That's that that was pretty good from what I was told. So, uh huh. Um, yeah. Anybody wants to look that up and see like what <laughs> good times are on Sebring? There you go. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, I have full confidence in this and thing. This car I mean, it's amazing. It's. I mean, it looks like it's made to handle. You know, it it's is. just especially on a track. It is a track weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not good in the rain, but it is good in everything else it does. Okay. Now, how are you feeling about the uh, C8 Z06 coming out? <laughs> I'm indifferent. Um, really? With what we've done, or even if we do some kind of forced induction down the line, mm -hmm. um, whether a supercharger or a turbo kit, um, it would outperform the Z06 already. Ooh, and, okay, uh, okay. This, as is right now, does 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds. That's amazing. Uh, and I think that is what the Z06 does stock. Okay. Now, it'll probably pull away over 100 just because it has more power and more torque. Right. Um, but... I got to sit in the Z06 and got to drive around the parking lot, at, um, and I'll, I'll say that it is nice. Mm -hmm. The interior, they went really far with extra carbon, more than I've got, and it's a little, <laughs> little too much in my opinion, but uh, it's a great car. I Flat plane cranks are not known for their reliability, and that's what the engine is in that car, so okay. I'm kind of good with this. So far, I've been really lucky for the last two and a half years. I have not had a single problem with this car good. in any area. Good, good, and good. That, that just speaks to the just the wonderful engineering. They've got. Absolutely. Yeah, I was gonna ask, um, what are your future plans with it? If any more modifications or anything? We're doing a we're doing a wide body kit from Panam USA. Okay. Uh, we have already got all the parts, and we're just waiting on uh, the time schedule of the of the body shop, which is Custom Empire in Orlando. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do uh, Rohana wheels on it. We've already got those. Those are made out of a combination of copper and other alloys, Ooh, okay. um, and they are copper colored, mm -hmm. uh, just because that's actually the metal that's in it. And um, they're going to be 355 wide in the back. They're going to be like a vent door size tires. Nice. Five inches wider on each side, essentially, for the whole car. Okay. Um, as far as performance mods, I think we're, we're, we're good at the moment. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think we've, we've, we've hit about what this car can do right. as far as bolt-ons without actually adding force induction, and I'm okay with it at the moment. 
Icon Motorsports is coming down within a couple weeks, uh, and we're going to do vertical doors on the car and make it look like Lamborghini. That's going to look fire. Now, you know, some cars look a little distasteful with the Lamborghini doors, but this, I think it'll look very natural. I mean, it fits the supercar body style, so I think that's going to look really good. Now, um, I see you have your Instagram handle here. Is there any anywhere else that they can maybe follow your build progress? Or I, I've, I've got a YouTube channel that I'm going to start. Uh, okay. It already exists. It's under the same name, Sonic Speed 4. Gotcha. So there are no videos currently on it, but soon, once we start the wide body process, we're going to film all of it, uh, and then we're going to probably kickstart the channel from that. Definitely. And then uh, okay. on Instagram, we, we typically post at least once a week, and we try to cover either rally stuff or our you know what we're doing to the car it's not like a how-to channel it's not going to be uh, on you know when we start the youtube either right uh but it's going to be more of just like if you have a c8 or a car on this level what's it like okay right sure you know, or when we do events yeah yeah that'd be good uh information so that makes sense well uh Thank you. I think we covered like, you know, a lot of the outside goodies. Like I said, the interior looks amazing with this blue. Um, I mean, just just look at that. Like, come on. And you even got the blue stitching here. I saw the little Corvette animation pop up for a second. And you got the carbon fiber around the dash and got the screen over there. It looks like a decent size screen, too. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think it's like either seven or eight. Yeah. The headrest. This looks like it. it's a uh, very hugging. Is it okay if I sit in it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, sure. you, All right. You got that perfect. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. This is a. Uh... Now you guys know I'm a pretty small person, and this is very, very comforting, very tight, and and it, and it fits you just fine. No yeah, problem? I'm like six two, so it's like it fits me pretty good. Uh -huh. um, like I've got the seat all the way down, all the way, all back, the way back, almost yeah. all the way back, and then like a little bit more upright so that you, uh -huh. leg room's not, not an issue at all. The only issue would be like is like uh, head above your head hitting the top. Mm -hmm. But in the convertible, you got about an inch or two extra than over the coupe. So that's, okay. That's a nice little advantage if you're talking to. That's good. Yeah, I didn't know that you got a little more space with the um, with the convertible. Oh yeah. Then they have the dials here. You know, you got your modes and. Here's your park, reverse, neutral, and drive. And I, I like how this is a, just kind of lined up, kind of like a fighter jet little cockpit. And this is, it's very sectioned off. Like it's very you are the, focused. you are the driver, yeah. you are in control. And it, this even kind of looks very aviator for some reason. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it looks clean. I love it. Got all the switches over here. So uh, yeah, it looks great. And the convertible, I think um, this car looks absolutely amazing as a convertible so and the way it just folds in so nice and neatly so i love it uh thank you so much for yeah, letting me uh, check out the car thank Happy you for telling me it. about it and um yeah we may or may not go on a quick little test drive it's been off and on raining all day we just had a tropical system blow through of course because it's florida first ride in the C8. It's going great so far, let me tell you. Woo! <laughs> I tell you, that acceleration is good, but them brakes are even better. <laughs> be that good if you could uh right if you, could, if you couldn't stop you know exactly it's like then what's yeah. the point you know we're racing against rain clouds and all of that but this is this has been going great for sure loving this interior the seats are comfortable you know can't ask for much more thank you so much uh tony i really appreciate it make sure you guys follow him uh sonic speed 407 on instagram and also check out his youtube channel once uh they start posting some videos so um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again, Tony, and hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I will see you guys next time. Take care.